Adam, it's Arya. I just heard what happened. Caught right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was left to bleed to death in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Arya. It wasn't me. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. Shit. Did you hear? Talos Rucker's dead. I heard that somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Now we can get some real progress. He was making us look like wimps. That's a little harsh, isn't it? Rucker didn't deserve what happened to him. Something tells me our politics aren't the same, Jensen. Me, I think this whole martyr thing is exactly what we need. But, um, let's maybe focus on things we can agree on, huh? Like optimizing that uh, crazy rig of yours. You got a calibrator for me or what? You really think Rucker was the problem? That his death is somehow gonna make things better for Augs? I don't think he was the solution. We need a new leader. Someone a little less beardy, make fancy diploma. Someone who's gonna fight, you know? Stand up to some of these bullshit laws. You hear about the Human Restoration Act? Yeah. If the restoration vote passes, I don't know that it's gonna matter very much who the leader is. It's gonna be a government-mandated horror show is what it's gonna be. Men in white coats pulling out augmentations like they are teeth. <sighs> anyway, speaking of medical horrors, you ready for me to fix you or what? This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now is totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? All right. Please tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. That wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. Shit. Did you hear? Talos Rucker's dead. I heard that somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Now we can get some real progress. He was making us look like wimps. That's a little harsh, isn't it? Rucker didn't deserve what happened to him. 
Something tells me our politics aren't the same, Jensen. Me? I think this whole martyr thing is exactly what we need. But, um, let's maybe focus on things we can agree on, huh? Like optimizing that uh, crazy rig of yours. You got a calibrator for me or what? You really think Rucker was the problem? That his death is somehow gonna make things better for Augs? I don't think he was the solution. We need a new leader. Someone a little less beardy McFancy diploma. Someone who's gonna fight, you know? Stand up to some of these bullshit laws. You hear about the Human Restoration Act? Yeah. If the restoration vote passes, I don't know that it's gonna matter very much who the leader is. It's gonna be a government-mandated horror show is what it's gonna be. Men in white coats pulling out augmentations like they are teeth. <sighs> anyway, speaking of medical horrors, you ready for me to fix you or what? This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now is totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? All right. Please, tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. That wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. I've done everything I can for you. Go ahead and activate anything you want now. Your system can handle it. Feels like I'm freezing into a solid chunk of ice.
Shouldn't we be arresting? You know who, by now? Ah, Johnny's not going anywhere. What's your hurry? I was given the same orders you were, sir. I know all about our orders. Do me a favor, eh? At least pretend to look for evidence. You don't think he did it? I do think he did it. But I also think we should at least try to prove it. If that's okay with you. Anything you say, sir. We can't it's let them get away. It wasn't to for tell Johnny, us. and I might have paid you for this. She won't talk to the police. I give up. I'm not Montag. I don't need I your help. Know. These no. assholes. But... I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed, just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, by. I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? You may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either. But that doesn't mean you should hold back information. They don't have it in them to protect me. They have neither the will nor the courage. Be that as it may, it's still probably your best hope for helping to catch the killer. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. I talked to you about what happened. How come she talks to him and not to me? Oh. Away from the crime scene, sir. Fuck walking this beat. Yeah, thought as much. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. 
I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you, augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. Alright. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Uh, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Careful of the evidence. Interpol. Who do they think they are? If it wasn't for Johnny, I might have pegged you for this. Just because Montag trusts him, doesn't mean I do. Something. something is going to push them into attacking us. Doesn't it feel like something is about to happen? Once upon a time, I could have shoved newspapers up in my clothes. Another reason to hate technology. Best to be careful. Away from the crime scene, sir. They love to tear it. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her. Cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say, exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. 
So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark, uh, black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. To try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want. Tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Once upon a time, I could shove newspapers up in my clothes. Another easy day. Enjoying yourself, detective. I want to help you with this case. To do that, I need a rundown of what you know already. Help me, huh? You mean, like being my subordinate? I mean like making sure we catch whoever's responsible. Right. Well, I have a dead body, Angela Gunn. I have bureaucratic pressure to arrest the augmented husband, Johnny Gunn. I have a crime scene, and I have you. Alright, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know. Just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help, and between you and me, because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? Huh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. 
I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... just a little rusty. People hold a hell of a grudge against Hogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now don't get me wrong, I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Arkor, God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But, if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Ever since you got here, she seems... different. Calmer. <laughs> you know, I met my first wife over a crime scene. Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. But keep in mind, she was an og. Don't you all have to shoot up that new pal shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. Huh. The way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the og removal. And before, you mentioned a broken needle in the right shoulder? That's right. It reminds me, you know. There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named, um... Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and og removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage, across the street from the bombed-out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh. A fingerprint. I must have... 
miss that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found this press ID on the victim. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this... why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work-related. Maybe she uncovered something she wasn't supposed to. Maybe. I don't know. I have what I need for now. I should go. That's fine by me. Interpol. Who do they think they are? Just keep moving. Keep the black Gruesome, isn't it? I can't I look away. Shoot any I can't look Didn't away. Think so. You think I don't know what's going on here? It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about you know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti alg politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? It's important to follow the evidence in situations like this. You can't just accuse people left and right. I gave you evidence. I told you. The articles. Right. Other than that, is there anything else that makes you think this politician might be responsible? Damn right there is. Fucker told my car once. When he was municipal transport minister. I see. I hate that guy so much. Did you actually see anything? I just got here, so I see what you see. A dead, augmented journalist. Thanks. You're two years too late already. Give it the rest, huh? Gruesome, isn't it? I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. You looking at something? She's just lying. They should at least cover her up. Go see for yourself. Oh, Someone is targeting balls. This one is not the first. You should be careful, you could be next.
Are you completely stupid or are you trying to start trouble? You're in the Naturals train. Krista. Let's see your papers. I don't need this hassle. You're the one causing me trouble, Clank. Here. These are good enough that I'm going to ignore you. This time. Use the AUG train. Things are happening. What were they called again? The Juggernaut Collective? Okay, bye. Hey, man, I need it. Hey, man, I need it. Hey, man, Hádám, že se k vám asi donesli ty špatné zprávy z komplexu Utulek, co? Že někdo zabil Talos Rakera a oni se teď bouzí. Nech to. Nikoho to nezajímá. Zarušujete pořádek, občané.
takhle jsme sem přišli o dva roky později. Radši bych rozdával lístky za špatný parkování. Hezký město, že jo? The place. are bothered by those parvos guys the security guards for the bank why would they be uh, because they aren't security guards but private military contractors shit i had no idea should the bank be allowed to hire military If you don't want any surprises, you might want to be more specific. 
Shut up, Clank. I want your papers, not your opinion. Fuck me. We do not want trouble. There is no need to start any trouble, yes? You sure you don't want to see anything else? You're hurting me. Why are you doing this? You have no evidence. Walk away, Hog. District is pretty quiet. Jakoby nestačilo, že mě v jednom kuse prudí chlupatý. Teď mě ještě prudíš ty! That's strange. Absolute key is a strong foundation, not what you build over it. With the augmented, we're talking about a foundation of basic humanity. Need to soundproof the basement. leaked classified corporate documents, causing several Fortune 500 companies to go bankrupt. Between you and me, folks, the Collective is one of the most dangerous criminal organizations in the world, despite whatever praises the underground media wants to sing. I know it's
Murderers in uniform. Get booted, fuck! Where are you going? Did you bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? The dead one. The one whose body they found torn apart by some animal. She has a name, you know. Angie to those who knew her, Angela to you. So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. You don't seem too broken up about Angela's death. She was your wife, wasn't she? Ex-wife. We were divorced. Is that supposed to explain why you don't care? People die. Whether or not I care is between me and my memories of them. It's got nothing to do with you. You could still show some respect for the dead. You've misinterpreted something. Angie's not the one I mean to be disrespectful to. You are. How I react to my ex-wife murder in front of you, the man accusing me of it, and how I react later when I'm alone, are two different things. So the moment I leave, you're gonna start grieving, is that it? Maybe. It's between me and Angela. Anything else come to mind about Angela? At night, her hair used to get in my nose and make it itchy. It was annoying, but nice. Let me feel you. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie. Doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what happened. Why? If anyone should want to track down the person who killed her, it should be me. But I choose not to. Case closed. You don't care if her killer is caught or not? No, I don't. I don't get off on vengeance. I say, let the bastard stir in his own damn guilt. Men who kill, I think they do it to get attention. They want to be caught. They want society to spank them just like their daddies did. Now, the real punishment for something like this is living with what you've done. That's not how it works. Why not? For one, finding this killer will ensure they can't do it again. Two, society has a right to protect itself. And three, where were you tonight? In my apartment. Alone. 
No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? You sure you didn't go anywhere tonight? I went to the bathroom. Twice. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah. So? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I'm familiar with their retirement plan. Looks like they're treating you real well, Johnny. Fuck you. I was a New South Wales man. Hell, I'm still there. Probably gonna spend the rest of my life trying to get out. See, this is the price a man pays to no longer take orders. If something tells me you're not paying it. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but... Uh... Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. Anyway, that was a long time ago. You've had a hard time adjusting to life after Bell Tower. No more than anyone else. I'm sure you won't mind if I look around. Whatever you say. Must be tripping. Why are you still here? I found a note from your doctor. You lost your hands in New South Wales. I got new hands in New South Wales is the way they sold it to me. Whatever else the killer did to her, Angela was strangled. Whoever did it left a partial print on her neck, which, apparently, you're not capable of. Oh, oh, oh. fingerprints are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. You'll find not having them allows you to be so much more effective. They did it so you can kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? I'm 
I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they want me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. Let's talk about the case. All right, so talk. I think I might have some information on potential suspects. Let me guess. It's the colonel with a lead pipe in the library. Apparently the victim was mixed up in some kind of political scandal with a man named Radko Perry. Hey, not the first time a politician and a journalist didn't get along. So you don't think he's worth talking to? Radko Perry? A murderer? Uh, I don't think so. Worst he can do to someone is get their car towed. Good thing I don't have a car. Where can I find this guy? Ah, Radko runs his campaign out of an old print shop not far from here. You want to brighten up his day? Be my guest. But that's all you'll be doing by telling him his rival is dead. I have what I need for now. I should go. You do whatever you have to. Interesting. Who do they think they are? Something wrong? Get lost, Enzer. Fucking odds. No respect. Are you Radko Perry? If this is about that anti og speech I gave, save your indignation, okay? I'm only the voice of the people. I'm only saying what they want to hear. Your problem, it isn't with me. It's with the way this issue is polling. I'm here about Angela Gunn. Who? A journalist. She was found dead in an alley. Oh, how sad. But you wouldn't know anything about it. What? No. But the fact that you could imply such a thing... I am a public figure. But 
rest assured, my team will look into it. I'll even send the family a gift basket. How does that sound? Your reputation precedes you, Echo. What can I say? My career is built on a simple premise. Secure the grandmother vote and build from there. Now, please explain to me why you are here. I'm here because I heard Angela found skeletons in your closet. Well, lucky for me that she's dead then, huh? You no, know, but seriously, what kind of skeletons? Is that all you care about? She was just murdered. You could show a little more compassion. Compassion is for the cameras, but hey, maybe you should be the politician. For a second there, I almost believed you care. Your politics are viciously anti-Og, is that accurate? Viciously? I like that. Do you go out of your way to incite violence against Ogs? I wouldn't call it going out of my way, more like it's on my way. A flower you pick as you pass by. To be honest, my politics aren't even based on an ideology. It's very simple for me. I tell people what they want to hear, and I stay out of jail. You're not doing a very good job tonight. I'm doing just fine. You really hate Augs that much? Some more than others. Tell me about your relationship with Angela. Angela? Angela who? Angela Gunn, the journalist who's apparently been writing some very insightful articles about you. Oh, her! She did a nice job of keeping my name in the news. Local politics is a real slog, you know. As long as they're talking about you, it's good. Even if she was saying things you didn't like? Sure, why not? Angela's readers were never my voter. I'm not exactly courting the Og vote here. Did Angela and I share views? No. Did we like each other? Not one bit. But our hatred was professional, not personal. Nothing to kill over. Sure you don't want to add anything about Angela? She got what she deserved, but not from me. Can you tell me where you were tonight? Out getting vote. Can anyone attest to that? Sure. Any number of people. My secretary, my brother, my mother. I just need to call them to remind them they were with me. That's all. You think this is funny? Someone dies and you flaunt the fact that people will lie for you? You're going to lock me up for trying to stay positive? You don't think this is serious? I think murder is very serious, but the notion that I could be involved in one is not. So you're not gonna tell me where you really were tonight? Evidently not. You sure you don't want to rethink your fake alibi? Where I was tonight is none of your business. I have what I need for now. Good for you. Did you forget something? They say a picture's worth a thousand words. Do they now? These pictures Angela had of you. They're worth a lot more than that, aren't they? How did you... 
Who are you? Doesn't matter. What matters is that this constitutes motive. Angela Gunn knew that Prague's premier anti og politician had a bit of an og fetish. What you call motive, I call luck. Angela was the problem, now that problem is gone. That doesn't mean I made it go away. Those pictures of you won't be good for your career. Ah, who's to say? Never overestimate the voters. I have what I need for now. Good for you. Enjoying yourself, detective. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. This was the work of a harvester copycat. This isn't some domestic dispute gone horribly wrong. It's part of something bigger. Someone's out there pretending to be a dead serial killer. I see you looked into that old case I pointed you toward. The M.O. is a perfect match. I read the notes and I compared them to this murder. The two victims were killed by the same person. I'm sure of it. All right. Let's say that's true. That doesn't necessarily exclude Johnny. It just means he's killed more than one person. Look, I'm just telling you what I found. For a while, I thought it might be Radko Perry. That maybe he was behind all of this. But that wasn't right either. What makes you so sure? I don't like Radko, but I don't think he's a killer. My gut tells me he's all talk. Just a politician trying to make a career out of whatever's popular. Forget Radko. I mean... Why are you so sure it's not Johnny? Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are made of alloy. If he had strangled her, he wouldn't have left a smudge. Alloy, huh? Shit. So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. Hey, rookie! Get over here! It's time Who to wrap this they up. Are? All right, let's call it a night. Get someone to pick her up. What do we do about Johnny Gunn? Forget him for now. Forget everything. Sir? I have no idea who did this and neither do you. That may scare the shit out of me. And it may piss some people off. But it's the truth. Yes, sir. Take it up with Edward, one tag. Someone, please get me a damn coffee. <laughs>